Hello, I'm Drew Devitt. We're here at New Way Air Bearings, and we've got a new technology demonstrator for the FlexTech show. What we have are air turns. So this belt is floating completely frictionlessly on these rollers that do not turn. So these are porous carbon air bearing rollers that the film is floating over and around in a completely non-contact fashion. So if I put a little alcohol in here, you can see the air bubbling out of the porous surface. Now when we first devised this test, we were figuring we could use an additional bearing to drive the film. So we were thinking we would have these two holes for driving the film in the direction of rotation, forward or backwards, and these holes in slot for steering the belt back and forth on the roll. Well, what we found out actually was that the, the bearing really responds well to an angular force. So you can see I'm now, with a little bit of force on this torque arm, able to drive the belt in the backwards direction. I can steer it right, left, right, left by turning on the torque arm a little bit. I can slow it down and get it flowing in the opposite direction. And again, I can steer the belt in that direction. So what we have here is a way of complete non-contact control of a web over rollers that do not turn and do not touch and we can also control web tension to a fraction of a gram in uh, multiple different areas. Now you'll see also here a capacitance probe that's measuring the consistency of the fly height of the film over the roller. So the maximum deviation that we're seeing is on the order of five ten thousandths of an inch or half of one thousandths of an inch. These are mostly from dents and things that are in the stainless steel. In order to understand the viscous shear effect going on in the gap, we've modified the setup in order to study different variables. We've switched from the stainless steel belt to a flexible film. This film's used in the manufacture of electronic circuits. Uh, you can see flat bearings back here. So we've got one on the bottom that's just a plain bearing, we're shifting out the top bearings. So you can see some of the variables that we've got going here. This is one of the radial air bearings that you saw driving the stainless steel belt in the earlier section of the video. It's got air passages for driving in the direction of the belt and also for across the belt. So what we're doing in this current test rig is we are testing three flat bearings a bearing without any grooves in it, a bearing with the grooves that were going with the direction of the film previously, and the bearing that's in the test setup now has a just a center groove. The force that's generated in the gap through the air shear then is transmitted into the film which goes over one of the new way air turns and then the film is taped to a weight which is setting on a hundredth of a gram scale. So as I press on this little diving board, you can see it pulls on the film and changes the reading on the scale. So just the angle of these two bearings is what's creating the force to pull the film. So we have two electronic indicators set up, one on each side of the bearing, in order to measure the total lift or clearance between the bearings and the film, and then also the change of angle that is happening in the air film. Now the load in the air gap or the pressure in the air gap is being controlled by mass on the system. Here you can see some weights. Here you have one of the points that is directly over the bearings. Here's the other point supporting the weight. So whatever this mass is, we have 50% of that weight on this bearing. So divide that by the area on the bearing and you know that's the average pressure in the air bearing gap. Here we have almost 80 pounds of mass on the test rig. Half of that mass is being supported on this bearing which is through a ball on a hard seat so you can see it's able to pivot both in rotation and it's able to pivot on an angle which is what we'll be studying. Underneath there's another bearing that's supporting that. Uh, both of these bearings have about 8 square inches of area, so with 40 pounds we've got about 5 psi average air pressure in the gap. Now as I press on this diving board a little you can see the film get taut. 
It's, uh, it's pulling over this air turn, which is an, a, a roller that doesn't roll, but it is an air bearing, so there's no friction on this film. And then that transmits to lift down here on the scale, and we're measuring it in grams. So we're understanding the force by placing a known weight, a known distance from the edge of the bearing, and then measuring the tilt in the bearing on the indicator. So we know the fly height, we know the tilt, uh, we know the force or the moment force that we're putting on the bearing and we're measuring uh, very sensitively uh, the actual force that's being created on the film. So these results will be integrated into a paper and presented at FlexTech in February.